Well, encephalitis or inflammation of the brain is pretty rare, but when it does strike, it can be very serious. In our health cast today, we're looking at something called an autoimmune form of this condition, and it can lead to severe long-term health issues. For the first 10 years of her life, Nicole Lopez was an active, normal child. Happy, outgoing, always the life of the party. All of that suddenly changed in April of last year when one day she became inconsolable. And when I asked her what's wrong, Nicole, she tells me, I don't feel like myself. I don't know what's wrong with me. My body is, um, my body is not processing. I said, what do you mean by that? And she goes, I don't know. And I said, well, explain it. And she goes, I think I'm dying. That was when my world fell apart. Specialists at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital diagnosed Nicole with something called anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis, one of the most common causes of encephalitis. It's an autoimmune condition which causes inflammation of the nervous system where antibodies are produced against NMDA receptors. So basically it's brain attack on the NMDA receptors in the brain, which produces a variety of symptoms that progress very fast. The warning signs include flu-like symptoms, memory deficits, sleep disorders, speech dysfunction, cognitive and behavioral disturbances, as well as seizures, movement disorders, vision or hearing impairment, and loss of consciousness. Some patients may even stop breathing. Pediatric neurologist Dr. Ariba Bassett says it's not clear why the immune system goes haywire and starts producing antibodies that attack but there are theories. A combination of environmental factors, genetic predisposition, that could perhaps cause this autoimmunity to develop. After several weeks in the hospital, followed by intensive physical therapy, now 11-year-old Nicole is back to her happy, playful self. It feels amazing. I look at her and I'm still in disbelief that we went through that horrible phase, but she's pretty much, she's come back 100% and I couldn't be happier. Now, the majority of cases of this anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis occur in young adults and even children, but there are some cases diagnosed in people in their 80s as well. Females, by the way, are approximately four times more likely to be affected than men are. With today's HealthCast, I'm Christy Krueger.